we're really going to focus on this hour on uh, cannabis and stimulant use disorders. So we have a lot to cover. Uh, we may spend most of the hour on cannabis use. And after our break, I may then come back and cover stimulant use. Uh, can we highlight Rick Martinez? There he is. All right. Oh, my goodness, Charles. That's way, that's way too much. But thanks for, uh, thanks for the invite to comment a little bit. Um, and first of all, thank you. This has just been a, a, a terrific uh, morning, and we are all learning so much. So thanks for putting this together. So he was charged with four counts of uh, capital uh, murder. He wanted to plead insanity and psychiatrists had diagnosed him with a major depressive disorder and a mixed uh, personality. So the uh, first uh, question I want to address is uh, sent um, from Dr. Beckford at uh, Einstein. And she said, what is the most encountered amendment seen on the board exam. And then in 1988, we saw what some people call the nadir of these cases from the sense of, of sort of the, the responsibility of physicians being really extended very far. This case was one in which negligent, negligence was found. Thinking about our ethical um, obligations to uh, provide objective and unbiased opinions, um, and the way our standards of practice operate is, is providing the necessary information um, that leads us to our opinions and, and, and um, understanding where our practice guidelines tell us to do that. Is that he was able to parse, you know, statistically uh, and reliably separate out each of these groups and show who walks the talks the talk and who walks the walk so to speak so you'll notice here's in red uh rejected and predatory is there any evidence to suggest that providing a lawyer with a list of risk assessments for malingering you intend to administer to their client alters the validity of the risk assessment wow great question dr brooks and with that, I want to thank you very much for your uh, patience and hanging there with the course and uh, very much enjoyed working with you during the last four hours. Thank you very much.